Hey guys, Mitch here. Today Apple released iOS 6 Beta 1 for developers and it was jam-packed with over 200 features in Apple's next generation software. This will allow you to take your iPhone, your iPad, and your iPod Touch in entirely new directions. In this review, you'll be trying to go over as many features in iOS 6 as possible, so let's get into it. The first app to get ramped up was the Maps application. This now uses TomTom Tom navigation rather than Google, and the entire layout was redefined. You now have the ability to get a turn-by-turn -turn navigation along with 3D imaging to really see where you are. So if we go ahead and start a uh, direction here from Allentown to New York City, you can see that it does give us turn-by-turn -turn navigations here, and along with Siri, it will display which turn you have within the next few hundred feet or whatnot. And as you move over to the additional navigations, you will see that the maps does change to where this actually is occurring. Now this is a really great way to see where you are and the maps will allow you to change your way to see the world. Now this does come with a traffic report along with seeing live uh, traffic reports if there's constructions, accidents, or alerts. And you also have a flyover which you can see using the 3D imaging on your device. Siri has been integrated into the new iPad or the iPad 3 and allows you to ask more of Siri giving you sports, restaurants, and movies. So you can ask it what is the score in a ball game, football game, hockey game. You can ask it what movies are in town or if there's any restaurants around and Siri will give you all of its choices to choose from. Facebook has been integrated into iOS allowing you to post photos more easily than before. Now you'll be able to go ahead and select the lower left hand button and now a new redefined layout will appear and here you'll be able to post the picture right to Facebook. Now we all know this is already integrated into the Twitter but now in the notification center you have the option to post right to Facebook or post right to Twitter using these two sheets at the top here. If we tap to tweet, a new Twitter sheet will appear, and if we tap to post, a new post will appear. Passbook is a new app incorporated into iOS, and here you'll be able to store your boarding pass, your movie tickets, your retail coupons, and all your cards in one centralized location. Now with this, you'll be able to scan using your iPhone to check for a flight, get a movie, or redeem a code using Passbook. FaceTime now works over cellular data using your 3G or your 4G capability along with Wi-Fi as well so you'll be able to contact people even if they're not on a Wi-Fi connection. iOS 6 adds new calling features to your iPhone so now you have the option to decline an incoming call, you can instantly reply with a text message or set a callback reminder. So right now we do have an incoming call and if you go ahead and swipe up you now have the option to remind me later if you want or you have the option to reply with a message. You can say I can call you back, I'm on my way, what's up, or have a custom message that you can redefine. In iOS 6, we do have a Do Not Disturb, which allows you to not receive any notifications, whether they're text messages, push notifications while you're sleeping, or if you're in a meeting or anything. If you go ahead and turn that on, you can go ahead and set a schedule for when you want the alarms to actually come in, and you can have it set to everyone, no one, or your favorites right within your contact notifications. You can see that the settings layout has been redefined along with different sections for individual themes here. So we do have our Twitter integrations here along with our Facebook. And right here we do have our Wi-Fi and our Bluetooth. We now have a new privacy section which you can go ahead and actually see the contacts that you do want to share for all the applications that you do have. We now have a new blue banner at the top of the stock applications. You can see we do have a new blue banner along with a new redefined keyboard allowing you to type out the different messages and call them. Now the App Store layout has been redefined as well along with the additional apps available on your iPhone, your iPad, or your iPod Touch. So you can see that we do have new redefined features here. You can see that the layout has been changed quite considerably, allowing you to search for more better things in a quicker and efficient way. 
So guys, this has been a review for the iOS Beta 1 software. iOS 6 will be available for the public around August, September-ish. But if you do want to get it now, you can go ahead and get your device registered to take advantage of the iOS 6 Beta software. If you guys do like these videos, don't forget to give a like up, leave any comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to stay updated. Thanks, guys.